It's a new day and I feel awake for once. I actually had a really good eight hours sleep. Um, we've got a long day ahead of us today. We've got to smash out a load of videos because Kirsty's coming shortly, hopefully. Um, we don't have a model today, which means that we're going to be working on other kinds of videos. We might do some stuff on her, herself. We've got to do um, some swatches for some of the products from Nail. Um, and uh, I've got a phone call at 10 o'clock actually, uh, it's about half nine now. I've got a phone call at 10 o'clock from uh, Roxy from the BFI, which is the British Film Institute. Um, I'm working on a couple of projects at the moment which could potentially get BFI funding. Um, one of the hardest things about making films is actual money. Um, and we're really lucky to have the BFI and Creative England where if your project matches up, they'll help fund it um, so you don't have to get private money or well you do still have to get private money but it's, it's just a leg up a little bit for, for filmmakers especially in a region where I'm from which is the northeast of England we don't really have a massive industry there <coughs> it is grown we've got um, something where I'm from called Tees Valley Screen um, which I'm part of the steering group for and we're trying to build an industry in, in that region, uh, in the northeast region, in Tees Valley in particular, um, to help create sustainable jobs, um, which is one of the things that I'm doing with my business. So obviously I've got the, the nail stuff we do on a, on a regular basis, the Channel 4, Sparks, Gigs um, that I'm gonna be doing, and also I'm trying to produce content as well on top of that and employ people and, and, and basically get people working up there. Um, it's, it's not easy, it really isn't. It, this is a country where if you're not in London, and I suppose Manchester now, um, and like Cardiff, they, there's quite a big film community there. Um, they shoot like Doctor Who and stuff like that there. Glasgow is quite popular, um, but if you're not in one of those places, you, you struggle. Um, Channel 4 is actually moving to Leeds. Up there. They're, they're putting like a big hub there, which isn't too far from me, it's about an hour and a half on the road um, which is great that's amazing so hopefully that will filter more work throughout the northeast but you can't guarantee on that happening so you've got to go out and get it yourself so that's what I'm that's what I'm doing and hopefully this chat with Roxy it'll be very fruitful um, I've got three projects that I'm putting forward for for funding um, and hopefully one of them might come off hopefully the all three uh, that'd be brilliant so we shall see Colour that I'm using is serious black. As you can see, it's serious black. And we may just get away with one coat of serious black. What, even on a clear tip? Yeah, we're doing pretty well. I'm going to check it. I will check it, but I think. I think we're doing alright. Well, you're doing alright. How many have we done so far? I thought you were counting. I, don't know, but I can't That's paint six. and count at the same time. So I'm like, I thought women could multitask. Yeah, but painting and counting, I don't even think men can do that. What? Paint and count? No. Really? No. I don't think it's that difficult. <laughs> I'll, I'll get you, I'll get away too. I'm not painting any living rooms or anything. You can count, you can paint all my living, <laughs> all my rooms in my house and count them as you go. Oh my god. on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're on the last one. The next day. Um, Kirsty just nipped out because she's got to pick the kids up and take them to dancing. Um, this is always on a Wednesday, so it always splits our day up a little bit. Um, she's going to come back and then we're going to finish Andrea's nails off because we've been filming with her today. Um, I'm just cutting something to eat because I'm starving. Um, and then I need to do a lot of work tonight. I was going to try and do another set of nails, but I'm, I've just got too much to do. So I just got a phone call from, uh, sorry, an email from um, the Comedy Hot House and Northern Film and Media. They need me to work with the talents, uh, which is Raul, Louise and Alberto and Kemmer and start 
putting these um, sketches together because they need some stuff by Monday. Monday. It's now Wednesday. We're filming all, again, all day again here tomorrow. Um, then I'm going home. I've got a busy weekend of stuff to do. So whether I can get some stuff by Monday, I just don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. So, yeah. And I'm also trying to sort out Pretty Little Claws channel because we're starting to run out of videos on there because of the summer. Everyone's been off and everyone's now busy. Virginie hasn't been getting back to me. Vicky's saying that she can't do much. Amy was supposed to be in today, but she couldn't do it because I model dropped out on her. Um, I only get Lisa once every few months. I think the next time I get her is Halloween. So it's all just a bit like bit crazy on that side um we're struggling there so yeah hectic lifestyle i'm just chilling now at least for a bit until we start filming again and the next day so i'm eating breakfast and i have an audience this is hugo this is luna this is nala they like the smell of bacon i think a couple of years ago, when I first moved in here, it was Ben. He sadly passed away, but yeah. These guys like some uh, bacon, don't you? Can you smell it? Can you smell it? Hey, Hugo. Hugo's huge. Nala's getting bigger. Luna's just loopy. So it's my last day down here today. Um, it's the fourth day of filming. It always gets very stressy when we do four days in a row. Um, because it's, diff it's difficult, especially for Kirsty to be able to like just smash out videos. It's, it's hard work. Um, I've done me washing. It's hanging out there just to dry. Um, just wash the bedding. Um, I'm tidying up at the moment. Dishwasher's on. Um, I'm just replying to a lot of emails. Um, it looks like the Channel 4 thing is going to happen early um, for me. Uh, they've asked me to move my block which was the third block to the second block. So it's like a week earlier. So that's kind of thrown me a little bit. Um, I've got a lot of emails to catch up on. Yeah, it's all a bit hectic at the moment. Um, so hopefully today will go really cool. Look at that mess. We tidied up in here the other day. And it's just a big mess again. We need to basically just kind of strip the whole thing and, and sort it out. But anyway, um, yeah. So we'll see what happens during the day. I can't believe how messy our table's got. It's in the amount of five minutes. We've been here for, this is the fourth day. And it's... You've got a needle there. <laughs> I need them, I need that, I need that. I need everything that's on this table. All right. Um, <laughs> and just look at the work area. I just love like this, that tiny little bit of work area. But I need all the things. I need a bigger table. No. Yeah. No, because then everything would be more on it. I'd have more working space if it fits in. <laughs> I'm sure I would. Patience is needed, but look at the progression. Don't race ahead. You will have to take your time. Apologies. <laughs> it's all about progression. I'm pretty tired been a long day so far um, and we're not finished. Kirsty's just had to nip out to drop the kids off at, at dancing um, because our mum, I can't remember why our mum couldn't do it. There was some reason our mum couldn't do it so she's had to go and take pick the kids up, take them to dancing. I'm going to have something to eat because I'm starving. I've got a steak, gonna, what I'm going to cook. Um, we So Kirsty decided that we were going to do dark crystal nails like proper artwork on tips, something that you can box. And these things take forever. And it just so happens that she decided to do this on the last day of filming. Normally I try to get away for like, let's say five o'clock and then I can be home for maybe eight or nine. I get to see Isaac, but there's no way we're gonna get away for the, oh. sorry. Yeah. So there's no way we're gonna get away for any earlier than seven. I think we have to finish seven or 7.30 because Kirsty has to then go and pick the kids back up from dancing. So by the time we finished, I pack everything up that I need to pack up. 
um, and then get on the road. That's probably going to be roughly about half seven, eight o'clock. Um, so I'm not going to get home till maybe it's midnight. Um, damn you, Kirsty Meekin, for doing long nails on a day that I have to go home. Um, but you know, it'll do, it'll be a great video. So a series of videos. And uh, yeah, so I'm just exhausted. It's four days of film and takes it, it takes its toll. It really does. It takes its toll out on you, you know. Um, mentally and physically, my foot's getting a bit better, but it's really hurting still. Um, and just like I don't really sleep very well when I'm here, um, so I'm a bit tired. Uh, I literally can't wait to get home. Um, and then I'm back here in three weeks' time. But in that meantime, I've got a lot of prep to do for the Channel 4 Sparks. A short film. Just There's a lot going on. Loads and loads and loads of stuff going on. So, you know, we try, we try, we try to keep going. But Book of Mormon this weekend. Woohoo! So this is what Kirsty's been doing. They are pretty amazing. 3D as well as hand painted. Yeah, you can't fault it. it, it it's going to be a brilliant video. It just takes so long. And look at the mess. She's made it a mess again. This table was clear on Monday. It was empty. And now look at it. Every day this week it's just got fuller and fuller and fuller and fuller. Mess. Three hours later. Right. Studio is quiet. Another week of filming done. We're filming this weekend as well at the Beautiful Minds event. Which is the key. Honestly, I'm so knackered. I can't be bothered to do it. But you know, you say you'll do these things, so you gotta do them. Ah uh, well yeah, now I've got a four hour drive home. Brilliant. So I should be home by about eleven, which isn't too bad. I wasn't gonna have a drink. I might have a couple of beers when I get in, just because I need to chill out. Um, but yeah, it's another week done at the studio. Goodbye, Stoke on Trent. And uh, I'll see you in three weeks' time.